The Animal Crossing Direct is so close, I can almost taste it. But what will we taste? Sure, we know that Brewster and the Roost are coming, but what can we expect Nintendo to show us? What does and more mean? Brewster was one of the additions data mined over a year ago. The fact that we're finally getting him after all this time is amazing. The cafe, the ambiance, ugh, I can't wait to just sit in it and enjoy the atmosphere. A question a lot of people have is, will we actually get Brewster or are we getting his nephew? Especially due to the fact that New Horizons has introduced us to a few new family members of older special characters like Daisy May, Flick, and CJ. So will this happen to Brewster? No. During the Direct, Nintendo showed us a graphic of Brewster's face, which means we will most likely be getting the regular old Pigeon Man himself. Unless his nephew looks exactly like them, but that would be obnoxious. We're getting a pigeon that looks exactly like Brewster, just name him Brewster. The Direct teaser didn't show us the outside of the museum. Will the exterior be updated for a third time, or will the design stay the same? We're definitely going to have to wait another 24 hours and see the building draped in its green tarp to signify the construction is happening. That's going to be a long 24 hours. Side tangent, Nook's Cranny upgrade? Same thing? No? Probably not. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what requirements we'll have to meet to force Brewster to appear. And New Leaf, you needed to donate 50 items to Blathers for Brewster to decide to set up shop. In New Horizons, we needed 60 just to get Red to appear. It'll be fun to see what or if there are any requirements to get the roost to start construction. I'm assuming it won't be anything crazy. If you've been playing the game for long enough, there's a good chance you've probably achieved the requirement already. It could be donations again, or maybe we'll be able to purchase it with Nook Miles. Speaking of Nook Miles, will there be any new achievements added? I guess that depends on what is actually added with Brewster. I would love an achievement tracking how many cups of coffee we drank, just so we can see how much of a caffeine addict we are. Purchase 2,000 coffees from the roost. Find out you spent too much money on coffee in one week, just like real life. Maybe the coffee mini game will return. In New Leaf, we could become Brewster for the day. Villagers would enter the roost, request their usual coffee, and you had to remember what the hell their usual coffee was. I remember this game being too simple for me back in the New Leaf days. Maybe that's because I wouldn't bother memorizing their coffee orders and I just looked it up every time. But going back and playing it now, I missed out on the charm the first time around. I only did it for the rewards rather than enjoying the experience. If the minigame comes back, will there be rewards this time? They were all coffee related items in New Leaf, of course, but the final rewards were gyroids that looked exactly like Brewster. So will we get gyroids back? Brewster is the gyroid king. He was the one who held our gyroids for us so we didn't have to take up our limited storage. I would love for these to return. I'm sick of digging up fossils. I miss the days of getting surprised by gyroids or even a pitfall. Nowadays, I tend to ignore the star shapes on the ground. My fossil exhibit is complete, so unless I want to assess them and sell them for money, there's just no point in digging. Adding gyroids would also give us something else to collect, because we need more of that, but it would be something different for our eyes to look at. If not gyroids, then some Brewster DIYs would be pretty cool. I always want more furniture, more things to craft, more stuff to do. I think I just want to collect more. Now that I've made an entire house for additional storage, I want stuff to fill it up with. Although I don't know how much use we would get out of cafe furniture items now that we have an actual cafe. Maybe that thought's a little broken. I would love some seasonal items from Brewster. We got hot chocolate during Valentine's Day and past games instead of coffee if we visited him. But I want that expanded. I want food items that rotate out, more drink options other than just coffee. Give me a whole carton of pigeon milk. Those sandwiches villagers walk around with, I want them. Soda, want it. Soup, give me, please. The models for these items are already in the game. Just let us hold them. I enjoy the interactive items. I want a bunch more. Now that the fireworks festival is over, we don't have access to the three new food items. Boba, cotton candy, and popsicles. I agree that these items appearing in the Nook's Cranny cabinet along with other fireworks items just don't make sense. Letting Brewster sell them on the other hand makes a ton of sense, and it just pushes the fact that he could have food items for sale. Maybe I'm just hoping too much with that. In the last video, I speculated as to whether or not this blur was a stand mixer that already appears in the game or something else. Looking at the unblurred image, it might be something else. <laughs> Possibly a coffee grinder due to this clear container on top or maybe some type of espresso machine, but boy, did it look exactly like the stand mixer. I'm a little upset because that could possibly mean a lack of food items, but a coffee grinder does make way too much sense. Besides sitting and enjoying a cup of coffee, there wasn't really anything additional to do in the roost. It'll be interesting to see if the and more refers to more coffee related items or some extra mechanics that just happened to be included in this update. 
Please let and more mean more than just the three extra Halloween items in the three new holdable items that we already know about. Maybe and more could be referring to the other side of the museum. I would be surprised if there was something added here, to be honest. I know the inside will feel asymmetrical without something over there, but for some reason, I just don't think it's gonna happen. Maybe better just keep your hopes down anyway. If something were to be added to the right side, what could it be? An observatory or another shop are the first two rooms that come to mind, mostly because we had these in the past. The observatory allowed us to talk to Celeste and connect the stars in the sky to make some pretty constellations. I would always just ruin the sky with these. Maybe I needed to work on my sky art a little bit more. The shop sold exhibition furniture like pedestals, glass cases, and frames, among other things. This was also the place where the silver tools appeared. Silver tools would be pretty useless now that the golden tools in New Horizons are so easily obtainable if you've been playing for a bit. Maybe this could be a whole gyroid room. Instead of Brewster holding the gyroids, you could just display them here so they aren't hidden inside of a menu. They could bring back some of the old items like the fortune cookies. You know, those things that you shook your 3DS for five minutes straight just to save up two coins and get a crossover item that you probably already had. Yeah, those were good times. I would love to see those return just for the crossover items alone. I miss dressing up like Link. Speaking of fortune, Katrina could also take that spot. She isn't in the game at all except for the Nook Points app, if you count that. If she were added, I would love to have access to her every day instead of seeing her during the normal once every nine weekday special character rotation. This would hopefully mean that luck would return so we could have more fun smashing our boba as we run around our islands. Or maybe this wall will just be blank forever. Something we know will get talked about are the Series 5 amiibo cards. I'm very interested in these. For those of you who don't know, every Animal Crossing game that gets released adds a few new villagers to our roster of existing neighbors. Since the original amiibo cards were released during New Leaf's lifetime, there are a few new characters that don't have cards associated with them. The obvious thought is that the new New Horizons editions will get their own cards, but that's only like eight villagers with a few new special characters, like CJ and Daisy May. Currently, there are 400 amiibo cards split between the four different series. This means every pack has six random villagers of the hundred available. Unless you're in other countries, then it might be less than six. I think Japan has like three per pack. Either way, there really aren't enough new characters to justify a whole new series. Maybe this pack will act like the Sanrio packs and just include everyone in one purchase. Just a nice 11 card pack. If they randomize it, there would definitely be a horrible case of constantly getting doubles. Or maybe they'll include the old villagers who don't have amiibos yet because they weren't around during the times of New Leaf. Who knows what they'll do. I'll be super interested to learn more and now maybe the price of Raymond won't be 5 million bells on Nookazan anymore. <laughs> Another thing I'm looking forward to the Direct talking about is Nook Points. We have seen nothing about this app since it was released back in the spring. I want more items. Give me. Once I saw that the poster in Resident Services was a possible item to have in this game, I was super excited for the future possibilities. Give me Isabel's notebook, her bag, her questionable drink that she has every morning, something. But we have heard nothing. It's so weird that they added this whole app and barely did anything with it. Maybe now they've worked on a bunch of items and are ready to finally release them. Something kind of out of left field that I would want is farming and cooking. Autumn is the perfect season to add vegetables for us to harvest and craft with. I definitely don't expect this one to happen, but if it does, I'll be very excited. This would be something that would add more than just 20 minutes of new gameplay. Bring some old players back and get people to enjoy the game again. Or at the very least, add back the old fruit from New Leaf. And of course, Froggy Chair. As long as we keep our expectations down, I think the Direct will be great. Honestly, at this point, I'm just happy to get Brewster. Anything else is a big plus. My advice, keep your hopes down as much as possible. Our minds love getting away from us. It's not Nintendo's fault if they aren't planning on matching our extravagant imaginations. It's always fun to try and predict, but don't get disappointed when your mechanic doesn't get added. It's like imagining winning the lottery and trying to decide what to do with your $100 million. But you'll probably never actually be in the position to win. Doesn't mean it's not fun to just think about. I am excited for Friday. I can't wait to see Pigeon Man and get some nutrients from Pigeon Milk. It's nutritious, probably, right? What do you want to see in the direct? Let everyone know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!